I'm Nalaja Sun, and I'm a member of the All for One Advisory Board. And I'm also spearheading a new initiative called the All for One Mentor Project, which will bring six fabulous high school students into the festival to see solo pieces, and then they'll be creating a solo piece of their very own. I think that solo performance is something that is just so ancient and it is one person telling a story and it just reminds me of being a child again and watching a fun clown <laughs> um, do his thing all by himself and just being completely transported. It's almost as if it's kind of like you're reading a book. You are by yourself with um, a world of imagination and in some ways the audience can be a part of your imagination and that's that's magic to me I can always tell when a solo performer is great when I'm sitting in the audience and I've completely forgotten to breathe and then there's a moment when they remind me to breathe with a gesture or or breath themselves so it's as if I am breathing in the same um, capacity or I am, it's as if I'm breathing at the same time as a solo performer and the audience, we're all breathing at the same time and that one breath means that we are all one. That's a great solo performer. I think solo theater is important because what happens is that the audience is, is, the audience is reminded that with just one person, they can be completely transformed. Their souls can be transformed. Their hearts can be transformed. Hopefully their minds will be transformed. And in a small little way, their lives can be transformed in just one moment, in just maybe one hour, witnessing one person and, um, and in a way that feels like God's work. To solo performers starting out, my advice would be to just write the play, write your piece uh, as full on as possible. Don't tell anyone you're writing it. Don't show a million people uh, the first draft, the second draft, the third draft, just write it. And once you feel like you can fully give birth to it, that's when you can start to show people. What happens is folks say, oh, I want to have a reading, I want to have a second reading, I want to have a third reading, and then what happens is that they hear way too much, um, too many observations, too many opinions from people who are really well-meaning, uh, but what they wind up doing is they wind up cutting, slowly cutting down um, the show to a point where it's no longer your show and it's no longer your opinion. It's everyone else's show. So um, let it be your show and just keep it a secret for a good six months and then birth your peace to the world. Mm.